All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to answer a really, really cool question. Because in a previous video, I defined a transpose of a linear transformation. And I said what makes it so nice is that the matrix of T transpose becomes the matrix of T transpose. And which of course begs another question. We know that A transpose transpose equals A. But the question is, is T transpose transpose equal to T? And the surprising answer is no. So even though it's true for matrices, it's not true for linear transformations. But we'll see that, well, it's sort of equal. And you know, we'll see why in a second. So just to remind you of some notation, suppose we have T from V to W, a linear transformation. So T is like a plane that goes from V to W. Then we can define T transpose, where technically we can't flip W and V because uh, you know, T isn't invertible necessarily. But what we can do is act with dual spaces. So T star goes from W star to V star. So W star and V star. And what does T transpose do? Okay, very important. So T transpose, it takes a function as its input and spits out another function. So it takes G as its input and spits out T transpose G. And T transpose G, again, it's a function from V to uh, the field. And T transpose G, all you do is you just flip G and T. That's G of T of X. And I have done details on this in another video, and um, you know, I invite you to watch it, but this is not the point of today. The point of today is go one step further, and let's see, I need to uh, get some uh, markers. Okay. And in fact, we can show that if we define T transpose that way, then uh, the matrix of T transpose is the matrix of T transpose. And in particular, what is T transpose transpose? Well, you do this again, okay? So since T transpose goes from W star to V star, T transpose transpose, ah, much better, okay, goes from, well, this star, so V star star, to W star star. So already we can see that uh, T transpose transpose cannot be possibly equal to T because it's a function from a different domain. V and V double star, they're different spaces. This is spaces of vectors. This is spaces, if you want, of super functionals. That said, um, so in particular, what is if you have some functional f, okay, so uh, functional in V uh, double star, then we have T transpose transpose of f equals to f of T. Sorry. Uh, T transpose transpose, yeah, it's equal to F of T transpose in some very particular sense. Um, okay, and uh, what do you want to say? Um, that says, that said, technically V star star and V are not the same. And by the way, infinite dimensions, definitely not the same. But, um, Remember, there's another video I showed in, you know, uh, that, that said that V double star is actually kind of like V. There's a very nice isomorphism going from V to V double star, which I call the hat transformation. Namely, you can easily go from V to V double star simply by associating every vector X to what's called X hat. And what is x hat? Well, it's in v double star, so it's a linear transformation from v star to your field. 
And what does x hat do? It takes f as its input, so in v star, and just evaluates f at x. All right, in other words, that's what's called the evaluation function also. It literally takes a function as an input and evaluates it as a vector. And again, um, I've done another video on this. And what's nice is if everything's finite dimensional, so if V is finite dimensional, then those two, then this, uh, sorry, association, the hat thing is actually an isomorphism. So in other words, even though V and V double star, they're not the same, by removing the hats, you can actually think of them as being the same. And this is the goal of today. I want to show that if you ignore the hats, then in fact, T transpose transpose becomes T. Because, let's calculate this. So. Okay, so the input of T transpose transpose is a vector in V double star. But as I said, you can think of V and V double star as being the same thing by thinking in terms of hats. So in particular, an arbitrary element in V double star can be written as X hat. And in particular, so what does this do? So T double transpose, it goes from um, V double star to, sorry, V double star to W double star. So in particular, for each, you know, each X hat here, T double star, so T transpose transpose of X hat, well, that's in W star star. But in particular, what this means is that T transpose transpose X hat. This super functional, it's a functional from W star to F. In particular, it makes sense that the inputs of this weird thing are just functionals, are just in W star. So in particular, the way to input this is you do T transpose transpose of X hat evaluated at g, where g goes from w to f, because that's the definition of a vector in w star. Now, once we're, we have this, we're almost done, because now we can use the definition of t transpose transpose. What t transpose transpose does, it flips the two things, but at what price? At the price of one of those transposes. So this becomes, I'm sorry, it flips those two things. So x hat of t transpose of g. But all this is, it's really this parentheses means composition. So you do x hat t transpose, you compose it with g. So it's x hat t transpose of g. This is a like pure algebra, so just mess with some symbols and hope it works. Now, let's use the definition of x hat. x hat evaluates this thing at x. So this becomes t transpose of g at x. All right, now we want to use the definition of t transpose, which says just flip the two things. So this really becomes g of t of x. That's literally the definition of T transpose. And now what, notice what we do. We have this function G and evaluate it at T of X. Because you have an evaluation thing, this actually equals to T of X hat of G. And careful, those are technically two different hats. This is the hat in V. This is the hat in W. But again, we can think of them as being the same thing. So in particular, what have we shown? T, T transpose of X hat of G equals T of X hat of G. But because G is arbitrary, we really get T, T of X hat equals to T of X hat. 
Now, as I said, strictly speaking, T T transpose. So T transpose transpose is not equal to T. But let's say we remove the hats, which we can do because there's a nice isomorphism between the two. What this is telling you is that T T T transpose transpose of X equals to T of X. So again, under this identification, because X was arbitrary, we actually get that T transpose transpose is T. So even though it's not necessarily true that they're equal, it, under those identifications, they are equal. And in particular, it does follow that their matrices are the same because then the matrix of T transpose transpose is A transpose transpose, which is A. So that there's no argument about this. And therefore, I mean, even though we have the same thing for matrices, for linear transformations, you have to be a bit more careful. And that's why linear algebra is really spooky. So I think I love it. <laughs> All right, so I hope you like this. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.